Taco Vlog special guest, Josh Hood. What's up? The 15 people that watch this aren't gonna know who Josh Hood is. You will, one day. One day. The pride and joy of Southern New Jersey. You don't know Southern anyone Jersey. from Southern New Jersey, now you do. Oh yeah, finally New Jersey. What's this spot called, Bronco Tacos? Bronco Tacos. We're in Old Raleigh. Before we even get started on anything, it's a little pricey. 17 bucks for four tacos. Taco economy, way up. All right, what we got? So what, what'd you get? Gotta show up a little bit. Got a chorizo taco, uh, a bulgogi taco, Korean beef, and then a carne asada. And I got hot sauce. All right, so I'll show what I got. So we got the El Paso store, the two chorizos, and then one of the bulgogi tacos. This guy's a natural. So what, what are you trying first? Are you trying the chorizo first and then go in Balgoji as like a bonus? Yeah, so as, as you know, the chorizo is the gold standard. Let's, I mean, it's a pretty big taco, to be fair. Double tortilla. Mm, go. Tortilla's a little, uh, a little crispy. A little crispy there. Yeah, I like it. A little crispy, actually. Yeah, I mean, you just got the standard on there. You got the onions and the cilantro. I gotta squeeze my lime on it. Did you put hot sauce on it? No. I limed it for the first bite. The tortilla is loud. Is what? Loud. It's loud. Steals the show. Yeah, the tortilla steals the show. Tortilla is really good. It kind of reminds me of like fried dough at the fair. Soft, chewy. The chorizo tastes a lot different than what I'm, I've become accustomed to. The chorizo itself tastes different. It's not really a standout by any means. It honestly almost tastes like beef. I feel like I'm eating a beef taco right now. So and I've blindfolded lie. Josh. Okay, honestly, he's not far off. It honestly tastes a little bit like a beef taco. That's not a good sign. For it's not chorizo. not a good sign for chorizo. I got mine. All right. I want to see yours first. No, we're going at the same time. Okay. To the camera. Three, right. two, one. Six. We're in the same ballpark. Yeah. The, the tortilla is without a doubt the best part about the taco. Yeah, it's the kind of tortilla that you just like. You can just eat that tortilla yeah. by itself. I really wasn't getting a chorizo taste from the chorizo. It's, just, it's not a chorizo vibe, especially not for $5. Right, I'm trying the Balgoji taco now. That's right, is that how you say it? Yeah, well, we're learning new words out here. Yeah. Done with school, but still a student. Yeah, amen. That's an Ivy League right there. We're always learning. Oh, always got you don't use the pocket. lime. You gotta use the lime, man. Brings right. out the flavor. Add some brightness. This is a bonus review. You guys don't usually get this. That's good. I've never had bulgogi before, but got right, sweetness to it. Korean beef. What do you got on there? You got sesame seeds, a little chopped green onion. Yeah. Not crazy, but really tasty. I agree. And of course, it's in the same tortilla, so. Bonus grade. All right, you ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I got an eight. You got a 10? It's better, definitely better. I might have gone a little high on that, yeah. but it's also not really a, a selection that you find in too many places. It's usually like a fancy boy taco spot, like a Torchies. Or like a it, was, it was a special, and right after we ordered it, they did erase it from the board, so... We got the last two off the production line. That was pretty good. It is pretty good. 
Uh, that's some good marinated steak. It reminds me of the hookie live action chicken. But what? Hookie lab? What is that? Alright, this old Chinese spot I used to get when I was a little kid. I'd be like seven years old. Of course, you get the golden fingers and then you get the teriyaki beef on the stick. That tastes like the teriyaki beef on the stick. It's pretty good. So I'm getting a, what's the word for it? When you feel like uh, nostalgic. I'm getting nostalgia wrapped in that tortilla. It's always good, man. Yeah. Josh Hood. What other foods do you get nostalgia from? That's, that's a hard hitting question. You're putting me on the spot. Um, I don't know. I just thought I'd throw it out there. Freeze pops? Dude, I was going to say the same thing. No, you weren't. I swear to God. Yeah. My grandparents, till this day, still make sure the freezer is loaded with freeze pops when they know I'm coming over. That's like my grandpa. Shout out to my grandpa. 87. Wow. Still kicking it. Amen. He always has Gatorades. Oh. Always lemon lime. The best flavor. The only flavor. Nah, it's not the only flavor, but... Kind of. Synopsis. Honestly. <laughs> Your thoughts? Honestly. Uh, not great. Not a great showing by me there. Josh is, you know, just about two weeks into his taco journey. And uh, he already got it better than I did. I'll stand by my 10 on the, the Korean bulgogi taco just because... You don't find that everywhere, and it is a good tortilla, and it, it was all right. But let me tell you, I had the carne asada taco, which was the one that he recommended. I said, give me a chorizo, the Korean bulgogi taco, and like whatever you think the best taco is. And he gave me the carne asada, and it was a two. I don't even know if you put it on the scale. It was that bad. It was like they rehydrated beef jerky and put that shit in a taco. Nah, that would have tasted better than that. I tried a piece of his carne asada. It was very dry and not taste, tasty at all. I mean, they could have at least put a little salt. Something. It didn't even have to be carne asada. It was just like dry steak with no seasoning. I'm happy with my score. Of, uh, I gave it a six, right? Yeah, the chorizo. Honestly, just couldn't distinguish. Like, I honestly, I, it could have been a, a beef, a ground beef taco. And I would have had no idea. And, and that's where I really messed up because I'll tell you what, he's right. You couldn't distinguish what the chorizo was. The quality of the chorizo was it, it was not good. I was I was clouded by the the tortilla, so I'm gonna rescore because I make the rules. Oh, oh shit! Oh, <laughs> uh oh, I got a little surprise there. I didn't think you would do that. Five. He's giving it a five. Yeah. Wow. I'm ticking it down too, although I think he nailed it with a six. I'm ticking it down too. It would be a six, but then I he recommended the carne asada taco in there, and I had that, and it, it didn't even register. It was so bad. So I had to take it all the way down to a five. If you're in the neighborhood, don't go here.